Yeah, if we now uh, take a look at your challenges um, that we've divided into three categories, document handling, process, and global, um, yeah, what were the specific challenges in each category? So for document handling, the whole process to create, release, um, revise, and distribute the documents was very time consuming and very manual. Um, you imagine we have hundreds of pieces of equipment around the world that are maintained on an annual, but also semi-annual, monthly, uh, weekly, daily, sometimes a shiftly basis means every eight hours. And to try to make sure that the right revision of the right document for that equipment was available in paper copy to the technician in a production environment at the right time was a, a daily struggle. Um, also the ability to make sure that that document was up to date, not that it was an old copy that was saved in a binder somewhere, but that it was the latest copy, uh, especially from the automotive perspective, that revision control, that the right work was being completed on the right equipment at the right time was again, very difficult to maintain and control. And finally, the flexibility of that documentation was a challenge. Uh, we have, for example, 30 of the same pieces of equipment uh, around the world, but each of those equipment have slight differences due to the products they're manufacturing or the location that they're installed. And the paper-based system wasn't very well able to manage the variation or the configurations uh, of the equipment because of that uh, difference. And so generally those documents were on a bit of a, a more generic level. They weren't specifically detailed to the exact machine that the technician was working on, which meant that, that technician needed a, a little extra information and training behind the scenes to really fully complete the work that they needed to do. Um, from the process side, again, just that overall workflow and complexity to try to make sure the right information was available to the technician at the right time, not just from a document point of view, but from a uh, system approach was very difficult. You saw on the previous slide, we went from the machine into leading to lean to paper copies back into a standard to leading to lean. So it was multiple different systems that people needed to work in to try to maintain the connection of the information. Um, and then at the end of the system, once we would complete the maintenance documents and scan them back into leading to lean, there was no real easy way to analyze the effectiveness of that maintenance. It means if there were issues during the maintenance, if pieces were not available in stock or the machine was not available at the scheduled time, there wasn't a really good way of, of using all of that data to really analyze opportunities for improvement. Um, finally, on the global perspective, all of the topics that I mentioned before really led to just that difficulty in global standardization. You've got the same equipment with variations and configurations globally, maintained in different facilities, trying to maintain in different languages of the workforce. And so to really have a standard maintenance practice, but with flexibility to adapt to all of those slight differences um, was, was a daily challenge. Um, and, and last but not least, least, the sustainability. I mean, I mentioned already, we were printing paper copies of instructions daily only to be scanned and, and thrown in the recycle box. Um, so the, the impact environmentally on, on our maintenance process was also a consideration from our side as a, as a challenge.